How many children do you have? Eight. Yeah, they're gonna be amazing. They are, Cause they got like, like, like I bought you your present father. Yeah. Your unapologetic. Six sons, two daughters. One of my sons got 20 to 40 though. I mean, so I know the aspects of that. I mean, he, t- he, t- he took the deal. I mean, I said, as long as you're not innocent, you're innocent. Well, do the time. So you don't have to punish. You punish for it after you die. You mean? So he exactly. called me every day, and he, he know he, 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 he my son, on it. my son, a soldier though. He won't ever do no like no wine. Like, we ain't that kind of people. That, you know what I mean? Whatever you do, you gotta stand what you do. And even though it hurt me, I don't, I don't show him how much it hurt me because I might be dead by the time he, you know what I mean, he get out. But I just know that he ain't doing life. You know what I mean? Because he's doing life. That shit was just, you know what I mean, that's that's worse than death. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. So they're gonna do a lot of shit. When Freeway son, my son died. Freeway son died four days later, right? And I'm four days older than Freeway, so we was the exact same age when our sons died, right? And then his daughter died, and my son got 20 to 40. Mm. So we both got the double bubble, like boop, boop. I mean, like it was just meant for us. Like it was just waiting for us just to. And everybody gonna get a turn. They go through some crazy shit in their life. Right. I mean, people think people don't realize they are gonna get a turn too. Mm. It's about what they go. Are you gonna make it through your turn? Think about whoever you love the most in this life. Whether it's your mom, whether it's your son, whatever. There might be a day you never can see them again. Why you live, like, you might not die before them. And you have to see it. You have to beat it. You have to. I mean, it's some people we don't think about it because it's, it's too painful to think right. about. But I don't look at you like damn. Like you go through a lot of shit, and it's like this is why you called to do something great, bro. You already doing great, but it's bigger than rent. Bro. My man called me last night. He said that out of nowhere. Like yo, you, I'm gonna tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you though. So I'm looking at your page, and like I was saying, it wasn't about music. It was about family because you see what's important. What I'm telling you is like by you going through. The death of your son, then another kind of death of your other son. 20 to 40, you can't touch them the same. Oh, that's deep. You can see them grow, but you're still here. You gotta be, you gotta be, you can't cry publicly all the time because those skin of rash People come up to you, mm-hmm. they don't think about that shit. Yeah. They think about, like, they just, they just a fan of you and you, and you, and you got more children you gotta live for. It. So it's like, you gotta, your, your you message gotta is your life. Your whole possibly. life is the message. Yeah. Like, you know how you got the Canaan, but then you got the Sil Nectar. Mm. The Sil Nectar is the book about Prophet Muhammad. Mm. You know what I mean? You, on some, you're Sil Nectar. Like, you, it's, this is your life, because your life is gonna help a, a lot of people. When you tell your story, you have to do autobiography. It ain't, it ain't done it, yet, it, but you got, your story's gonna all the change. Time. Yeah, because my life, and it's so crazy. I, I wouldn't even tell some of the stories I, I would tell because, unless somebody that, that saw it or approved, because it'd be sounding, this shit be sounding crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, you know I mean? like, like even, even when, I, like when I ran away from the first foster home, I got to my grandma's house, they wouldn't let me stay there. Like, you, you gotta roll. I was nine years old, like, you gotta roll. And I'm like, like my brother, my I got a brother that's a year and a half older than me, he can stay. You know what I mean? So that's like a mind, like it's like a, some some shit. You be like, what the fuck did I, what the fuck did I do? So you, you know I mean, and it's crazy part. I never really realized what, why they treated me like that until I got older. Like, so I was like about four years ago, actually. I never knew like why they treat me. I never asked. I was just like, fuck it, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. But come to find out what it was was my dad. That's what my, my mom. She was twenty years younger than him. They didn't want her messing with him, right? So he messed with her. She, then she got hooked on drugs. Then she got pregnant with me. Dropped the kid off. They're like, well, you know I mean, so like I'm like the kid that. I mean, you got a baby out of this nigga that we don't like him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he got you on drugs, and then I'm the kid out of that. You know what I mean? So they ain't, I mean, they wasn't fucking with me like that. You know what I mean? So they put me in foster care and shit. I mean, you know what I mean? So 